Hello everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am very excited for today's video. I want to thank Encore for partnering with me. I have been wanting to try these Encore golf balls for a while now and they did not disappoint. They were incredible and I'm going to get to that in a little bit. You'll get to see all of the results and I'll wrap it all up for you guys. But first, let's just talk about <laughs> balls. And I was thinking about today's video and I was like, I'm just going to get roasted in the comments because all to me, all of these innuendos and I can't help and there's no other way to talk about it. So I hope you enjoy today's ball video. Um, <laughs> but I digress. Thinking about golf balls and balls that I have played throughout my career, I have tried so many different brands. I have played Callaway to Titleist to TaylorMade to Shrixon, to Slazenger, to Noodles, to, um, I'm sure I'm forgetting all of the ball brands right now, but I've played all of them. Ones that I bought, ones that I found on the golf course, and I was never super particular about the balls that I played until I started playing at a higher level and I got better and I could really feel a difference between each of the golf balls. And it's a personal preference, something that I like, you might not like, and something that you prefer, something maybe I don't prefer. But what I like is a softer feel around the greens, but not so soft where I feel like I'm losing distance. I've played golf balls in the past that feel amazing around the greens, but I'm not getting the distance or it feels really soft off of the face, and I don't like that. I've also played golf balls where they're a little bit more spinny, so around the greens they're very reactive, but they do not play well in the wind. And that's something that I didn't also didn't like. So finding a good golf ball for you is really just finding the feel that is best and also the ball that performs the best. There's slight differences, and when I've gone through ball testings in the past, I haven't seen massive jumps between one brand to another. Uh, again, it's more of like the feel that you get and what what around the greens on putting, chipping, short game shots to drivers to irons. And so that's what I did with my ball testing with the Encore balls. I was testing two different ones. So I did the Encore Elixir and the Encore Vero. And I fit more into the Vero than I do the Elixir, but both were, were good. I preferred the Vero just a little bit more because it, it fits my game just a little bit better. But I I recommend you trying both out to see which one works best for you. Throughout the ball testing, I did drivers, irons, and then I hit multiple short game shots. I did tight lies, rough, sand, just so I could really see how I was reacting. And I did a flop shot. Um, I can tell the most if I love a golf ball or not on my putts and on how it's reacting on the green. If it's not reacting in the way that I want it to, then it's not the golf ball for me. Some people play certain golf because it goes the farthest, and some people like the feel around the greens. Again, it's a personal preference. For me, I want a golf ball that goes far and that feels great around the greens. And the Encore surprisingly hit checked all of those boxes. And I'm not just saying this, and I know you guys are like, oh, well, you're just saying this, and I'm not. I'm actually not because when I went through the testing, and I did compare it, it performed really, really well, really well. It was a bit muddy out there, and so that's why I don't feel totally comfortable talking about all of the ball testing. So maybe in the future I can do a ball testing against all the other brands, which I did do out there, but I didn't want to show something that wasn't um, complete or didn't have all the numbers or, um, I, Again, I always want to be as open and honest and authentic with you guys as possible. And I just didn't feel like it was a very comprehensive ball testing compared to the other balls. Uh, but the Encore stood out and it performed great. It went really far. It felt great off of the irons and it felt amazing around the greens. I'm going to start off with the driver and what I noticed with the ball testing with Encore when I went through the process. So I hit multiple drives with the Encore golf balls. I want to, one, see the side spin, how much it's going either left or right, how much movement I'm seeing, and also the distance compared to other brands that I've played. I felt that the Encore went um, straight. I tend to now 
hit my driver fairly straight, so I wasn't expecting it to spray too much, but I didn't hit anything too wayward, and it was pretty consistent with being straight and also um, rolling out more than my, some of the other balls that I tried. I tend to um, hit up on my golf ball, and so I put a lot of spin on it, and so I always have equipment that is lower spin, and I also need a golf ball that doesn't spin very much because of the way my attack angle is, and that I noticed with the Encore golf balls, it didn't spin too much. It had a really nice ball flight. Um, it was it was straight. It almost just felt like a rocket off of my driver, and that's definitely what I want. It also didn't feel too soft. Like I don't prefer a ball that feels like a marshmallow when I'm hitting it. And although sometimes that feels great around the greens, it does not feel good with a driver or iron or really any shot that you're hitting that's more of a full swing. And so. Yeah, Nico agrees, on course great. <laughs> uh, but I love the way it fell off of my driver and I hit it really far. Like I hit it far um, and that's also good. So you're always looking for the distance and no side spin. And I would say that Encore did a great job there. I was very impressed. Next up, I had my iron shots and I would say with iron shots, I didn't notice anything that stood out really great or really bad. I would notice this more if it was a very windy day, uh, like I was saying earlier. I can tell if I really like a golf ball by how it reacts in the wind, and that's having something for me that has a little bit less spin. It doesn't spin too much, and I didn't get to test that out in the wind yet. Hopefully, if I do another ball testing video, I can show that and do that for you guys, um, but it felt fine. I, again, I didn't really notice. It didn't feel too soft or too hard. It was just right. <laughs> So it felt good just off of the driver, felt the same off of the irons. Um, the, again, I was looking at side spin, hit them fairly straight. Um, there wasn't, any, like I said, there was nothing that really like jumped out, but there wasn't anything that was also really bad. I would say that I can tell if I like the ball through my driver and my short game. That's really where I see the difference. And with irons, it's mostly in the wind, but I'm not too picky with my irons, really, with how a ball reacts. Obviously, I want it to react well on the greens, but I don't really have a problem with that. And it reacted fine. I mean, there wasn't, again, anything amazing or uh, groundbreaking, but there wasn't anything bad either. It just reacted the way it should react. So again, check the box, Encore performed well there. And lastly, the test I was most excited and anxious for was the short game test. I am so in tuned with my short game compared to everything else. I am a field player, but even with my full swing, I'm not as picky with how things feel as I am with short game. If it doesn't feel right off of my club, the ball doesn't feel good, I can't, I can't hit it. <laughs> I will not play a golf ball that I hate for short game shots. Um, I would rather lose some distance for it to feel good around the greens. And so I was really interested to see how Encore was going to react because balls that I have liked for short game doesn't translate over well to driver and vice versa. So the Encore ball felt great off of my driver. So I was nervous to see how it was going to feel on short game because I haven't felt like I've had that combination of one that feels great for both yet. And so I tried uh, four different shots. The first shot was a uh, chip off of a tight lie. Next was a chip off of um, rough in rough, deep, heavy rough. Next was a bunker shot. And the last shot was a downhill flop shot. So I tried to get different lies, different angles, and to see how it was really going to react on the green. And I like a ball that's really reactive. I like a ball that... Um, if I nip it right, it's going to spin really nicely, but not get torn up too. I hate golf balls that have so soft of a cover that it just, you hit one shot and it's completely torn up too. That's also something that I look out for because, you know, when you have to pay for golf balls, you don't want to be spending so much money, one, losing golf balls, which I do, <laughs> and also just having them get easily torn up all the time. So, uh, the first shot I hit was that tight lie chip shot felt really great, especially on my putting too. When I was comparing it to other brands, I didn't really notice how big of a difference there was with putting. It was a massive difference. Even it felt different from chipping to putting too, which I never really thought of because I've never directly compared um, everything all together. 
And so it was really interesting to see how it felt even different from chipping to putting. And if I liked something for chipping, maybe I wasn't actually gonna like for putting. So Encore felt good for both of them. The Elixir and the Vero both felt great. I would say I liked the Elixir a little bit better for the short game portion of it, but I like the Vero better for my driver. Um, I would still probably play the Vero over the Elixir, but I would say that some of the shots were a little bit easier to hit with the Elixir with how they were reacting, and I hit them a little bit closer. My circles were a little bit closer, but still overall, I would probably play the Vero because I do want a little bit more distance on my driver, and I felt that the Vero went farther than the Elixir for me, and that's what I wanted. I would take, a, I would sacrifice a little bit of the feel because it wasn't a massive difference for the short game. It was just a personal preference on which one I liked a little bit better and I would still pick the Vero over. So again, try both of them to see which ones you guys like. But it reacted well off the tight line. I put it really deep down in the rough. I didn't want to you know, plop it up and hit just like a nice easy shot. I really tried to make it difficult. It came out really solid. Sometimes this ball is too soft. I don't like how it feels in the rough. I like it for flop shots, sand shots, and tight lines. But out of the rough, I do like something that's a little bit harder. And it was a good combination all of those. Reacted awesome out of the sand. And on the flop shot, it reacted great. It had the right amount of spin. I clipped it well. Uh, just felt really good. So I know you guys have probably haven't heard of Encore before. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but they're an awesome golf ball and I really recommend that you guys check it out too. Um, you can try both the Elixir and the Vero. Both are awesome. I actually have the differences if you want to know which one you would think would be better for you. So the Elixir for compression is 80. The Vero is 85. Dimple pattern is 318 pattern for both of them. The ball design is a three-piece cast, while the Vero is a four-piece cast. For ball feel, the Elixir is softer, the Vero is slightly firmer. So that makes sense on why I like the Elixir a little bit more around the greens, and I like the Vero more off of my driver because, you know, the Elixir is a little bit softer, but I didn't like the Elixir as much off of my driver, and that's why I would choose the Vero for me personally. Swing speed for the Elixir is low to mid, Vero is mid to high. Driver spin is low for the Elixir and uh, lower for the Vero, so, that's what I need. I need something that has less spin, so that is why I like the Vero a little bit more off of my driver. Driver launch for the Elixir is mid, and the Vero is mid-high, so again, that's kind of, I fit that perfectly for my driver, and wedge spin is high for the Elixir, and Vero is slightly higher. Um, so that one, I would say I didn't really notice too much of a difference with the wedge spin. I felt like they were pretty much the same. I almost felt like the Elixir for me was spinning a little bit more, but I think it was because I had a little more confidence with it because it felt a little bit softer to me. So maybe I felt like I could work my hand through a little bit more with my wedges. Um, but that's the only thing that I really didn't see too much of a difference. Everything else checks out on how, why I would like that for my driver and why I'd like it for my wedges. So that was very interesting. So leave a comment down below on which ball would actually fit you better, the Elixir or the Vera. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun to shoot. And if you want to see more of these ball reviews in the future, let me know. I really enjoyed doing this. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel.